In the shoulder of the mighty Orion constellation, a massive red supergiant glows in the night, Bethel Jers. For hundreds of years, it has fascinated stargazers across continents. Unlike most stars, Bethel Jers behaves in mysterious and unpredictable ways. Its odd brightness shifts and irregular behavior have drawn attention from scientists and dreamers alike. Every twinkle or dimming in Betelgeuse feels like a hidden signal from the universe. In recent years, these changes have become more extreme, prompting questions that have no clear answers. One question remains louder than all. When will Betelgeuse go supernova? The truth is, no telescope or formula can predict the exact moment. Yet, its recent behavior suggests that we might be approaching something big. Among the most stunning events was the Great Dimming, which happened between late 2019 and early 2020. The star's brightness suddenly dropped, confusing astronomers around the world. At first, many feared that Betelgeuse was about to explode. But then, unexpectedly, it returned brighter than ever, its glow lighting up telescopes from mountaintop observatories to backyard setups. Scientists now understand that during this time, Betelgeuse likely ejected a huge cloud of gas and dust, temporarily blocking its light. According to Dr. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist at Harvard, this ejection was like a burp from a giant star, a dramatic but natural process in a dying star's life. This wasn't the end, but it was definitely a warning sign. Betelgeuse has now become even more interesting. In May 2023, a space-focused Twitter account called a Beetlebots revealed that the star had brightened by 142%. The American Association of Variable Star Observers, AAVSO, confirmed the change, and the cosmic news spread rapidly. The star jumped from the 10th to the 7th brightest in the sky. People across the Southern Hemisphere reported how easy it was to see the star glowing with an intense red hue, even in areas with light pollution. In the Northern Hemisphere, skywatchers noticed its glow deepening as nights grew longer. This strange rise in brightness felt like watching a live cosmic play unfold, with each act more thrilling than the last. Betelgeuse is currently undergoing strange brightness cycles that repeat every 130 days, a major change from the usual 400-day pattern. This shift is another clue that the star might be entering its final stages. According to researchers from Harvard and UC Berkeley, this new cycle may continue for 5 to 10 more years before returning to normal, if it ever does. Inside Betelgeuse's core, a dangerous and magnificent process is occurring. The star is fusing heavier and heavier elements. It began with helium, creating carbon. Then came oxygen, silicon, and finally iron. Once the core fills with iron, the star can no longer produce energy through fusion. At that point, the balance breaks, and the star will collapse violently, resulting in a supernova. This explosion will be unlike anything humans have seen in centuries. Even though Betelgeuse is about 650 light years away, the supernova will likely be so bright that it could cast shadows during the day. It may even be visible for weeks or months, as bright as the full moon in some cases. The last time a supernova was observed this clearly from Earth was in 1604, known as Kepler's supernova. That event was recorded by astronomers before the invention of the telescope. So if Betelgeuse explodes in our lifetime, it will be the first modern supernova we'll witness with today's powerful tools and telescopes. Different cultures have long been fascinated by Betelgeuse. Ancient Greeks, Aboriginal Australians, and other civilizations recorded its brightness shifts. This long-standing attention shows just how powerful and mysterious this red giant has always been. It's a cosmic celebrity that continues to surprise even in the modern age. When Betelgeuse does finally go supernova, what happens next? The star's core will likely collapse into either a neutron star or a black hole, depending on its final mass. Both are fascinating objects. A neutron star is extremely dense, 
Just a teaspoon of its material would weigh billions of tons. A black hole, on the other hand, is a region where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. Astrophysicist Dr. Peter Grove, who specializes in studying supernovae, explained, no tool on Earth can tell us exactly when a star will explode. We're like weather forecasters, but for stars. According to him, Befelgerz's behavior is certainly unusual, but we still might be decades away from the actual explosion. Still, the clues keep building. Every new telescope reading shows more brightening, dimming, and atmospheric disturbance. It's like a cosmic heartbeat, each pulse stronger than the last. Scientists are watching for signs of core collapse or gravitational waves, both signals that the end is near. Technological advances have made it easier for amateurs and students to track Betelgeuse. With free online tools and real-time observatory data, even school children can monitor its changes and contribute to citizen science. The excitement is truly global, with communities from every continent participating. Betelgeuse is also giving scientists a chance to study the life cycle of massive stars, especially the final stages. Stars like this one live fast and die young. While our sun will live for billions of years, Betelgeuse has only existed for around 8 to 10 million years. In cosmic terms, it's a teenager nearing its end. When the star eventually explodes, it will release huge amounts of energy and radiation, but not enough to harm Earth. Still, the light show will be unforgettable. NASA, ESA, and other agencies already preparing to study the event in detail using space telescopes and satellites. Astronomers are especially interested in what happens after the explosion. How will the surrounding space react? Will we see a new star formation nearby? Supernovas scatter elements into space, creating the building blocks of new stars, planets, and even life. In a way, Betelgeuse's death could lead to new cosmic beginnings. In this sense, the story of Betelgeuse isn't just about destruction, it's about transformation. The iron, carbon, and oxygen it created will one day become part of future stars or even planets. Maybe even life itself. As astrophysicist Carl Sagan once said, we are made of star stuff. Watching Betelgeuse reminds us of that truth. Some astronomers compare watching Betelgeuse to waiting for fireworks that could go off any second, or maybe not for years. It's an exercise in patience and wonder. With each flicker, there's hope that this could be the moment history changes. In recent observations from the European Southern Observatory, ESO, scientists noted a strange asymmetric pattern in the star's outer shell. This could mean that its layers are moving and reacting in unpredictable ways. According to ESO researcher Lucia Banco, it's like watching a boiling pot with a lid that's about to blow off. The ongoing mystery is drawing more attention than ever. Research teams in Japan, South Korea, the US, Germany, and India are all sharing data, working together to solve the puzzle. This kind of global cooperation reflects how space connects us all beyond borders or languages. In space-themed schools and universities, Betelgeuse is now used as a case study for understanding stellar physics. New research papers are published every month, exploring everything from dust dynamics to magnetic fields around the star. One paper even suggested that Betelgeuse might be part of a binary system with a hidden companion, but that remains unconfirmed. Even if it doesn't explode soon, the journey of studying Betelgeuse is worth every moment. Every telescope image, every light reading, and every theory takes us deeper into the mystery of the cosmos. The story is still unfolding in real time, and that's what makes it so special. Around the world, online forums and social media groups are dedicated to watching the star. Some users post daily images, others share animations of the predicted supernova. It's a community event now, one that blends science with passion and curiosity with patience. And there's more. 
NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently captured infrared data from the region around Betelgeuse, revealing complex cloud formations and heat signatures. This data could help unlock new details about how stars behave in their final stages. As we continue to gather information, we're also developing better prediction models. Scientists hope that by understanding Betelgeuse, we'll be ready when other nearby stars, like Antares or Rigel, begin showing similar signs. It's like solving one cosmic puzzle to prepare for the next. Every night, under the open sky, someone somewhere is looking at Betelgeuse, whether from an observatory in Chile, a rooftop in Pakistan, or a classroom in New York. The world is united in curiosity, eyes pointed upward at a glowing dot that might change our understanding of the universe forever. Even if the supernova doesn't happen soon, Betelgeuse continues to teach, inspire, and amaze. Its story is one of mystery, power, and connection. A reminder that in the vast, quieter space, some things are still unpredictable, and that's what makes them beautiful. The universe doesn't always give us answers quickly. But sometimes, the waiting is part of the wonder. And maybe, one clear night, Betelgeuse will finally shine brighter than anything else in the sky, giving us a light show that will be remembered for generations. Until then, we continue to watch, wonder, and dream, surrounded by stars that whisper secrets of creation and collapse. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.